I want to hear that story about how you convinced Christopher Darden to have O.J. Simpson try on the gloves. The trial of the glove on O.J.'s right hand, which became a fulcrum of the case, the only time I heard the press say he might get acquitted. Frankly, at the end of the day, it didn't uh, mean that much to the jury because they'd already seized on the timeline. But I saw the glove lying on the evidence table. My fault. We had never examined the glove. We were told what blood was on it. We accepted that. We never checked the inside. And had we done so, we might have found some DNA from somebody else. And that would have ended the case right there. But I looked at the glove and I said, you know, I've got a size nine hand, perfectly average. It looks a little tight, so I tried it on. I said, this glove wouldn't fit, OJ. So I decided to set Mr. Darden up, who used to come to me each time he did something in court and ask for a grade. Did I do a great job? And he always suggested an A, and the highest I ever gave him was C. But I wandered over to him, and I will use an alternate word, um, but I said, you know, Christopher, you're okay, but you've got the cojones of a stud field mouse. Oh my goodness, I mean, I insulted his manhood, everything else all in one phrase. He said, why, why would you say a thing like that to me? I said, because that glove won't fit OJ, and if you don't ask him to try it on, I will. Now, it wasn't even my witness. He took the bait. When Judge Ito came back in the courtroom and started up the little stairway they built for him to get on the bench, because he's only about that tall, Darden all but seized his robe, and he said, Judge, I want Simpson to try the glove on. Johnny Cochran, despite what's in his book, didn't know anything about this. And he said, in front of the jury? And the judge said, so ordered. So Simpson had to come forward and try and pull the glove on, and it obviously wouldn't fit. And so Johnny turned that into a phrase which he thought was really clever in the final argument and which made him a bunch of enemies in the jury box. As the four lady of the jury said to McKenna at the Christmas party, he must have thought we were idiots. And she had, by the way, a college education, was a deacon of the church, I think. And, and McKenna said, well, why is that? Well, he kept saying to us, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. If it doesn't, what does he think, we're nuts? We could figure that out without him saying it 2020. They were angry at him. So uh, the glove trick turned several ways. A lot of people had convinced couldn't have done it. Glove doesn't fit. A lot of people just push it aside, say, I know he's guilty. Why do you know that? I just know it.